One of the most famous plant biologists ever actually went to Cornell University. Her name was Barbara McClintock. I like to call her the queen of jumping genes. Barbara McClintock was born in Hartford, Connecticut in 1902. She grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Her friends called her Barb's. Barb's loved to play sports and roam around the outdoors. In high school, she discovered that she was very interested in science and decided to go to college so she could learn more about it. Barb's entered Cornell University in 1919 as a biology major, then ended up staying for over 10 years, getting her PhD and doing groundbreaking research. Barb's became very interested in plant genetics and inheritance. At this point, scientists had a hypothesis that chromosomes made of DNA might contain the genetic material that was passed down from parents to children, but nobody had proven it yet. Barb's decided to work with corn, as in corn on the cob, the same plant whose fruit you buy at the grocery store. She joined a team of other scientists who were also working on corn at Cornell. Barb's realized that she could stain corn chromosomes and identify individual chromosomes under the microscope. By crossing plants with different colors and kernel varieties and looking at the new corn kernels chromosomes under the microscope, Barb showed that certain parts of chromosomes cause the kernels to be a certain color or texture. Other scientists quickly confirmed this result in fruit flies and other plants and animals. Proving that DNA passed down traits was a very important discovery. After doing this work at Cornell, Barb's moved to the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. There, she started to work on the project that made her the most famous. You may have seen corn cobs that have different colored kernels, especially around Thanksgiving. This can happen when you cross a light colored corn with a dark colored corn because every individual corn kernel is a different cross. It's like how siblings can end up with different eye colors. But Barb's noticed that some kernels had spots of multiple colors in a single kernel, which was confusing. Because Barb's knew how to look at chromosomes under the microscope, she was able to show that certain pieces of DNA actually moved around, which caused the spots. If the genes jumped around a little bit, you'd get big spots. And if the genes jumped around a lot, you'd get tiny spots. The jumping genes that Barbara McClintock discovered are now called transposons, and scientists now know that they make up a lot of the DNA in many different plants and animals. In fact, 45% of your DNA is transposons. After this discovery, Barb's continued to do very important research. She worked with local farmers in Peru, Colombia, and Mexico to collect different corn varieties and the history of where they came from. She recognized that knowing about the diverse origins of corn and other plants can make plant biology a lot stronger. Barbara McClintock was awarded the Nobel Prize and has even been featured on US postage stamps. So many of her amazing contributions to plant biology happened right here in New York State.